Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Act 7.2.1, the first quest of Act 7.2. And I wanted to show you guys my stash. This is my overflow. I need to use them. I didn't get a chance to use them all. But I wanted to show you what I was working with when I went into this particular uh, quest. Okay, there was item use on and everything. So it was perfect, perfect uh, of a time for me to be able to use up some items and uh, all that good stuff. All right, so this is the team that I'm going in here with. I've already looked over the paths and chosen the path that I consider the easiest path, okay? Now, a word about the easiest path. The easiest path is going to depend on your roster and your skills. So you want to look over all the paths, okay? But generally speaking, you see these energy adoption uh, paths? Those are the easiest paths to cheese, okay? Uh, and what I mean by cheese is that if you have the right counters, like Ghost, like Havoc, um, Kingpin, you can really destroy that path, okay? Now, I just did this a uh, little bit of a buff just because. Uh, I have tons of them, and they're expiring all the time, so wanted to use it, all right? So now, here we go. This is why Ghost is great for this path. Look, she already had, um, you know, three Furies. But just look, every time I get an Incinerate on me, I dash back, and I get a Fury. So I'm doing crazy amounts of damage. Look at this, okay? This is insane. You know, Ghost is already a beast. That's why I brought both my five-star and my six-star Ghost into this quest. Now, in Act 7, six-stars get a boost to their attack. So you'll have to decide if you have a six-star whether you want to use the six star version or the five star, but I brought in both because sometimes there's some shenanigans that happen. Uh, I have been experiencing some dropped inputs and that sort of thing. Uh, currently, Ghost does have an issue. You see that even though I didn't get hit, I took a little bit of damage. There is a bug with Ghost that even though I phased out the recoil, I still took damage from the recoil, all right? Uh, we're hoping they will fix that soon, but it's been a while. Now, this fight, if you're using Ghost, you need to be careful with this fight, and there's one other fight that I'll show you, uh, but you'll notice that he was able to hit her while she was phased. That is something that um, Professor X can do. So you can't fight him with Ghost your normal way. So you see that I switched up, and I'm no longer trying to phase like that. Okay, I'm playing him how I would play him if I didn't have um, Wasp, okay? That's how I'm doing it, all right? If you haven't seen my video on Ghost, uh, do a search on my channel and I go over uh, that. But as you can see here, you know, I'm just, I'm not trying to phase and, and counter like you normally would uh, fight with Ghost you have to do it a little bit differently because you can't do that against uh, that Professor X. All right, so we got him down, you know, we got a little hurt, but we got him down. And uh, next up, we've got Scarlet Witch. Now, Scarlet Witch can put some poisons on you. Uh, you see here, I'm, I'm using some of my potions. I didn't need that many, but I got plenty of them in the overflow. Uh, but she can put poisons on you and of course, my ghost eats those up, loves it. The one thing I don't like about Scarlet Witch is that she will put a heal block on you. I hate that, you know, because if she puts a weakness on me, I can actually heal because of my willpower. I can heal um, and see, you can see my health going up right now. I don't have the heal block. Now I have the heal block on me. Now I'm taking damage. Um, Hate that, hate that with her. Uh, but normally, and you'll see it in other fights, uh, I'll actually be able to heal up a little bit. 
All right. So other than that, it's a straightforward fight. Um, one of the annoying things uh, that sometimes happens uh, is that you'll get power drained. But look at that. 56K crit. Lovely. And look at my health bar. Even with all those heal blocks on and everything, look at the health she finished with. Okay. Uh, very, very cheesable path. Now, I do not like fighting this guy with Ghost. Very annoying. And you'll see why. Remember I said that uh, there was another fight that if you're using Ghost, you need to be wary of. I don't fight this guy a lot, but look at it. Smack me upside the head. I said, wait, what? What just happened? So now I know just from that one smack while I was uh, phased that I need to treat this guy. Look at that. I, I need to treat him like I treat Professor X. And it looks like he wasn't getting me every time though. You see there? I just was like, yeah, that that's crazy. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Very annoying because he would miss sometimes, but not other times. That That fight, I was just like, you know what? Whatever. Okay. Uh, I just wasn't prepared for that fight. But that's why I brought in a backup ghost. Now, you face in my other ghost. And I am now wise to you. See, I'm just parrying. We ain't, we ain't even playing with you. Nope. That's it. You're done. I didn't know his mechanics and didn't realize that he, you know, would be able to sometimes hit her. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. He's a, a clone of Magneto, right? I believe. Um, so that kind of makes sense. But I just didn't have enough information going into that fight. And it cost me dearly. All right. But we're back on track. And we're fighting Captain Marvel, who can be very annoying. Now, with Ghost, you want to mainly stick to one um, attack, one uh, hit attacks. All right. A one hit combo as you see me doing there. Uh, and the reason is every chance you hit, you have a chance to get a uh, incinerate. So if you're firing your special and you get an incinerate on you in the middle of your special, you're gonna be taking damage until you can phase it off. Now, what you will see just to kind of increase my damage is I'll do a, a four hit combo to get more incinerates. Then I'll phase and do my um, special two and I'll have all those Furies built up. So you'll see that uh, in, in some of the fights. Uh, and I believe I did it there as well. All right, now, Juggernaut. There was a time that I used Jugger uh, Ghost to farm Realm of Legends for health potions. I haven't done that in a while. But I used to always hate fighting Juggernaut. But I did it a lot, okay? And... The one in uh, Realm of Legends is easier because I can actually parry while he's unstoppable. I can't do that with this Juggernaut, okay? So it's very annoying. You just have to fight around that unstoppable, all right? If you're using Ghost, all right? And you can see there, I just had to wait it out. All right, here we go. I'm hitting him a few more times, like I mentioned, to build up, and I had four Furies. So look at that damage, a lot of damage. Uh, Ghost is great for this path, but so is Havoc. Havoc is also very good for this path. Um, I have used Havoc in the past on uh, these types of paths. And uh, I believe it was in uh, Act 7.1. So you can go back and look at those videos and see that I used Havoc and how I used him and just how nasty he is for that node. But that's the path, okay? Now, when you come to the boss, you actually have a chance to select a different champion. I love that. You can actually go through, and then at this point, you can bring in a champion that's perfect for the counter. You know, if you have to revive and heal or whatever, that's fine. Okay, now, this guy here. He is really annoying. Modoc, 
he's very annoying. Okay. Now, I brought Mole Man for Modoc. But as I usually do, I like to whittle the bosses down because it just makes it easier. So any damage I can do with all the rest of my champions that are still alive, I want to do damage. It's just going to make it easier when I finally use the champion that I actually did bring in to counter. And sometimes I actually can take the boss out. But as you can see here, that's not going to happen. Just look at that damage. Okay, that was a lot of damage, okay, um, that that Wasp took just just into her block and, and just, it, it just was ugly. It was ugly, okay? Um, but she did a lot of damage and that was her job. That's all I wanted her to do, okay? Now, we've got the Hood. Hood has been buffed. Hood is much better than he was, okay? So he's actually capable of doing some decent damage. But again, I'm mainly wanting to do whatever damage I can because it's going to make uh, the final fight easier. And if I can defeat him before I get to the uh, one that I brought in for him, which is um, Mole Man, then great. All right. But here we go. We just trying to do as much damage as possible. And we're, we're, we're doing a little bit of damage. Okay, Hood's do, getting that damage in there. All right. Um, but again, I didn't bring him in for this. You notice how the uh, AI waited until my uh, invisibility was about to wear off? And then he caught me. It happens. Um, but he waited until my invisibility was about to wear off to fire off his special too. You have to be, you know, ready for that. All right ghost here we go now ghost was great for the path but as you can see um he auto blocked it so i had to phase um on cooldown basically until i could hit him all right and we're just doing nice damage to him okay just some good damage now let me tell you something when that happened right there i raged because my champion did not move. I dashed back, didn't move. Was it because of the disorients on her? Or was it a dropped input? I don't know. But wouldn't move. Just wouldn't move and just got hit. Okay, so you can see here, auto block failed. Isn't that a wonderful message? That's why I brought him. Okay, auto block failed. Look at that, just tearing him up. Yeah, you can laugh all you want, Modoc. But that's okay. Boom. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Auto block failed. Lovely. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Just tearing him up. Yeah. All that auto blocking you were doing before? We don't care about all that. Okay. Special three. Coming on in. Yeah. No skipping. We want to see it. Okay. Yeah, give me that special two. I don't care about all that. Come on. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at them bleeds. Just tearing them up. And that's why I brought in Mole Man for this boss. And he's down. All right, so that's going to do it, guys, for the video. That is 7.2.1. And uh, look for the other videos uh, to be released uh, shortly after this one. I'm going to release them uh, one per day. So by the time you see this one, I may have the other ones out already, or you may have to wait a day uh, to get it. All right. So that's going to do it. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.